Hello kiddos, Shaz again here and I'm presenting you a series of educational board games explanation so that it is easier for you to understand the game and play it along with your friend and family. And this particular video is for uh, the ages 2 to 4, basically the toddlers ages. So now what we do here is we go ahead and open Bubble Jungle. Sounds so cute and so does it look like very colourful, very attractive, very much suitable for the ages as they have described over here, five and above. As I always tell you that these are the premium products which are directly transported from California. So the quality of the materials used in here are very toxic and also with it these are basically conducted surveys for the child's ages and then designed as per their mentality. So this particular one is designed by Brain when stark. Uh, the color combination and the you know the uh, visual designing is done by Cyril Bookhead. So we just go ahead with the I'm so sorry. Alright. It's quite a lot going on in here, unlike the boring other puzzles which we get in the market, like things in the logs. These are like definitely different from those. These are cards. Stop. But these are uh, very colorful, teeny tiny balls. And we have, oh my god. They are like guns, teeny guns, but then they are also like so cute. Elephants, as you can see, and it has a button here not a button actually, a spring which actually uh, allows you to spring it down to see what's in there. This is one. So we have four colors green, blue, orange, and yellow. That's there, and this is our instructional again. And as I always, when I go along, it actually surprises me that all the materials used from the opening till the in-depth of it, the texture of this thing is completely soft and uh, the fabric is used is completely different. I don't know what fabric is that, but then it's completely so soft. So this is the pool of balls. Where they are gonna just dump all these balls here. So they just find their own ways. So I'll just choose these two colors. So I'll just play like as so I am my opponent and I'm the player itself. Because I don't have any partner alongside with me. Just to explain you. Then there are 48 challenge cards, four of elephants. 48 balls, okay? Object of the game. The first player to collect 10 points with wins the game, okay? The setup. Each player chooses an elephant of their own favorite color. All the balls are dropped into the balls pool. This is balls pool. And uh, challenge cards are shuffled and placed face down in a draw pile next to the ball's pool. So now, round of the game. The game is played in several consecutive rounds. A player takes a challenge card from the pile and turns it over. Like as you see here. Okay. Oh, the cute elephants. All the players try to pick up the balls showing on the challenge card. So what we have here is that uh, there is red, green, yellow, orange and purple. So what I do is, so randomly you just go and take these colors, balls, from the balls down. There is red, green, yellow, orange and purple. So as quick as I do that, I win the game. As you can see in here, there are all the colors which are, which are already on the card, printed with those cute elephants. And here we are. So the one who is late to pick all these colors, which are like green, red, purple, yellow, and orange, whoever does this first will actually win the game. And now that these are stuck in here, as I said to you, it has a spring holder in here. Where after you just pull it down and they go up. 
Same with this one. So they go out and they play the other game. Note, you will lose if you pick up less or more balls. If I pick up less balls, which are actually there, so if suppose I like red, green and so on. If I pick any less or more, than which is printed in the card, I lose the game. Or if you pick up wrong colors, even if you pick up wrong colors, you actually do not score anything, rather you lose the game. Okay, there are three types of challenge cards in there. First one is the one which I explained to you, where you just randomly have to take uh, these colors, but nothing less, nothing more, and not the wrong color, so you win the card. Alright, then there comes the other one, which is this, where the elephant is actually sleeping so peacefully. There you actually have to do it like randomly, you just have to fill the tube with any color. There is no restriction whatsoever, like... So, 11 are done. So this is the tube is filled, the trunk of the elephant is filled. So now what happens that whoever does that first will actually win the card. And then comes this card which is actually like a very suitable one where whatever my favorite color is, I shadow that color and I just collect that one color. Okay, so what I do is, I'll just pick up my elephant trunk and collect my favorite color, which is red. And the other person will also be doing the same, so you have to be very, very quick and collect all the reds which are there in the bowl's pool. Okay, so I have collected my all my red bowls. So now I win the game if I do that quicker than my opponent. If the person collects his color, which is yellow, for example, yellow, and he does it much earlier than me, much quicker, much faster than me, then he wins the card. So do not let that happen and you win the card. So that's pretty much about Bubble Jungle. And it's a very simple game. Anyone who is uh, young enough, like five and below the age, can actually play it. Thank you for watching the video.